They say you should never lie to two people, your doctor and your lawyer. One can save your life, the other can save your freedom. Both relationships are built on the same thing, trust. You're trusting the doctor with your life, you're trusting the medicine they prescribe. But do we trust the middlemen? I'm talking about big pharma. They are the big gray area in medical science. The doctors trust them, we trust them, because the assumption is that their medicines will work that everything was done by the book. Turns out that's not always the case. I'm sure you've heard about Biocon. It's one of the biggest pharma companies in India. They sell drugs in over 120 countries. The founder is arguably more famous, Kiran, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, one of the first female entrepreneurs in India. Today, her company is in deep trouble. India's top investigation agency, the CBI, has arrested Biocon's associate vice president. It has also named a few other top company executives. The charges? bribery. Biocon allegedly tried to bribe India's top drug regulator. It is called the CDSCO, the Central Drug Standard Control Organization, sort of like India's FDA. Every medicine must be cleared by this body. It examines clinical trial data. It scrutinizes licenses. And only after that will a medicine be allowed to hit the market. Now, this process takes time. Sometimes it can drag on for years. And as they say, time is money. So Biocon is said to have tried to speed things up. They had a new product in the pipeline, insulin as part. Normally, it would go through multiple trials, phase one, phase two, and phase three. But Biocon apparently wanted to cut corners. The charge is that they sought regulatory approval without doing phase three trials. And guess what? They got it. Because Biocon reportedly bribed a top official at the regulatory body. He was paid 4 lakh rupees, that's around 5,000 US dollars. The CBI have arrested this top official as well. And the timing is interesting. On May 18th, Biocon's insulin got a waiver for phase 3, which means a rollout was due any time. This insulin could have hit the Indian markets any day. If the charges stand, just imagine the risk. India is home to 100 million diabetics. They belong to different age groups. They have different medical histories. Who knows how this insulin would have impacted them? And this is precisely why we have regulators and trials to slow down profit-hungry pharma companies to protect patients. But in this case, all of them seem to have failed. Biocon on their part have denied all the charges. The company says they strictly follow a strong code of conduct, but investors are not buying it. Biocon shares dropped 4% in today's trade. But then again, let's face it, shares recover. Public trust may not. While the charges are yet to be proven, this controversy has done irreparable damage to India's pharma industry. First, some basic facts. Big Pharma is all about trust. If people trust your brand, they will promote you. If not, they will dump you in a minute. It's a cutthroat world, and India was betting big on this world. India's pharma industry is the third largest by volume, 14th largest by valuation. It is growing at almost 11% per year. Take any generic drug, chances are an Indian company produces it. 40% of all generic medicines in the US are supplied by India. Same with vaccines. 60% of all vaccines in the world are made in India. Like Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, India is the pharmacy of the world. And that is a lot of power. And with great power comes great responsibility. In this case, the responsibility to protect lives. And controversies like these put a question mark on how well India is fulfilling that responsibility. Again, if the charges are proven, and I keep repeating that, if the charges are proven, Biocon must take the blame for what happened. But so should the authorities. Reports say India's drug regulator is understaffed. There are few resources, no oversight, and a lot of corruption. It's the perfect recipe for disaster. And don't get me wrong, being understaffed is not an excuse for taking bribes. But even so, the regulator needs an overhaul. And let me tell you why. The US FDA has a budget of $6 billion. What about the Indian regulator? In 2020, they got $223 million to strengthen the regulatory system. $6 billion versus $223 million. Do you know why the US spends so much? Because they are the biggest drug market in the world and India is among the biggest drug makers, which means India too must increase its spending. If you want to capitalize on any industry, you must do the groundwork. I'm talking about licenses, regulators, quality checks. These are equally important to any industry. And by the way, India's Big Pharma has messed up before. Do you remember the Ranbaxy saga? Whistleblowers accused the company of falsifying medical data. They admitted to wrongdoing. And later, the company was sold to a Japanese pharma giant. India survived that mistake.
Will it survive this one? Because like I said, in this business, trust is everything. There's a reason why people buy German cars or Swiss watches. They have built consumer trust over many decades. Not by bribing regulators, but by making safe and proven products. Lesson for Indian Pharma, profits and products are easily made. Do you know what's not? Goodwill. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.